YouTube, how's it going? I am back with another seven round NFL mock draft. This one's for the Tennessee Titans. Also doing a fan voted mock draft. Link in the description. Going at a slower pace in these videos. I'll give you guys time to vote. But let's get into these Titans. They're doing pretty good in free agency. I still think they need some help on defense. And uh, that's what we have them going in the first. We got them going Rashawn Evans, linebacker, Alabama. Now, it's realistic he can drop to here. From what I'm hearing, um, he's top 15 in my, my board. I believe he's around that 13 area. I like him a lot, and I would love him in that Titans defense. They obviously need another inside linebacker, uh, losing Avery Williamson. This is kind of best case. I do think it's possible, though, but if he's there, I, I don't even... I don't even think. I mean, if Harold Landry's there, I mean, you got to consider him. But I don't think he's going to be there. I think he's shooting up the board because I, th I think Harold Landry can play 3-4 outside linebacker. I think he can play 4-3 end. So he's got multiple teams that are going to be interested in him. It sounds like teams prefer Evans in 3-4, even though I think he can play 4-3 very easily. But I think the Titans will love him if he's there. Don't even think about it. Just take him. He starts right away. Great for that Vrabel defense. Now let's go on to the second round. We got Josh Sweat, edge rusher, FSU. Another best case thing. I actually have Josh Sweat graded as a late first rounder. I love this guy's game. Another guy that can be a 4-3 end. That can be a 3-4 outside linebacker. Another situation where he could be there. People worried about pass injury. Uh, I, I mean, he checked out at the combine, worked out at the combine very well. So I'm okay with him. He could drop to the end of the second. Another situation where you, you don't even think about it. You just take him. Um, just very freakish player can do it all good moves off the edge uh, the Titans need pass rush inconsistent at times last year they do have two starters at the moment and Morgan and Arakpo but after that they don't have too much and how much longer has Arakpo got in them so you could get better there at the most important position which is pass rush any type of pass rush in football so I love Josh Sweat should be a first rounder but will drop third round more defense Tim Settle defense tackle Virginia Tech uh, reports that they may be interested in the Dominican Sue. I like the Dominican Sue in 4 3 D tackle. So interesting to see what he would do in the Titans 3 4, Vrabel's 3 4 um, nose tackle, possibly. But a true nose tackle here in Tim Settle, I think, would fit in very nicely um, in there in that Titans D with Jarrell Casey and Daquan Jones. So uh, that would be a good third round pick. Can possibly play right away for a third rounder. More defense in the fourth. Kamoko Ture, outside linebacker from Rutgers, another pass rusher. Um, he's for sure going to be an outside linebacker where he goes. Josh Sweat, it's at edge because he could be a 4-3 D-end if he went to another team. But Ture, I just see as an outside linebacker. So he's going to get drafted to a 3-4 team like the Titans. Um, two pass rushers at this point. Again, they have two starters, but how long does Arakpo have? Has injuries in his past. Uh, they could get better at the position. They have Dodd as a backup, but I'm, I like the prospect in Dodd. But I didn't think there was any way he was going to be a 3-4 outside linebacker. I liked the prospect, but I didn't like the pick for the Titans because they were a 3-4 back then. They're still a 3-4 now. Um, so I don't know what they're going to do with Dodd. It's kind of a shame for him. He should have went to a 4-3 team. I, I honestly think he has a better chance of playing a 3-4 end than he does 3-4 outside linebacker. So I, I don't know if Vrabel's going to switch him. But uh, I mean, maybe you can trade him for a mid to late round pick because he has potential. I just I always thought he was a 4-3 end. I was very shocked that they drafted him back then. I liked him as a prospect, but they don't really have too much depth is my point at outside linebacker or edge rusher really in general. Um, so that they may have day one starters already on their team. They may be okay, but here you go. Here's some future Josh Sweat and Ture. I, I love the fit here in Tennessee. Fifth round, Darren Carrington, wide receiver, Utah. Now you may be wondering, why is he wearing an Oregon jersey? Well, he played for Oregon with Marcus Mariota. Then transferred out to Utah. So uh, maybe maybe they don't take him just because he played with Mariota, but it kind of made sense to me, and I think they need a receiver in this range of the draft. They don't need one to play right away, but he's kind of a sleeper. He'd be a good fifth-round pick. Uh, does a good job of going up and catch the ball. So I like Carrington a lot, but again, most recently played for Utah, but did play for Oregon with Marcus Mariota. So look out for them taking a receiver. Possibly earlier in this, could use a... Could use one or two, I guess, but uh, they get ta Tajay Sharp back this year, so they'll be okay the way they sit. And then their last pick is Trey Flowers, safety from Oklahoma State. Uh, kind of depth early, but I think he fits their defense. I think he's a true safety. If they want to move uh, Cyprian into the box, then you got Trey Flowers as depth to, to, to move at safety. So I don't expect him to really just start right away, though. He's a six-round pick, but I, I think he fits the defense in that spot at safety for them. So that'll do it. A whole lot of defense for the Titans. I think 
they're trying to build something very good on offense, but I think they, they could they could be a very good offense the way they sit. Uh, defense is kind of up in the air. I expect them to be definitely above average, but uh, they can could get better and build something special there. So they have the opportunity to do that. Um, kind of went fan- fancy with those graphics there with their uh, – they got new jerseys coming out, so uh, should be interesting to see. I heard they're supposed to be pretty cool. Maybe new logo. I think they'll keep the same one, but they got that uh, – what was it? 20th anniversary logo. So got a little fancy with the graphics, but that's, that's the reason why. 20th anniversary, they're getting new uniforms. Should be, uh, should be pretty cool to see. But that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Goodbye.